Carl Faubert, private detective, had just traveled thousands of kilometers from Montreal to reach this remote middle-of-nowhere area, situated near the far northern Lake Atamibek. Granted, this was a great distance to cover for a sole client, but word had it that he was a particularly wealthy one. had to drive a bit further north in order to meet with wealthy industrialist William Hamilton. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. Carl, like many of his contemporaries, felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. Cigarette was his own personal breathing assistant. William Hamilton was a prosperous owner who had acquired various businesses as well as metal mines in this northern region. diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Hamilton never mentioned a road-blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Hamilton never mentioned a road-blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. The cutters made quick work of the chain. What better way to investigate vandals than to get into their shoes, Carl the professional vandal thought, reveling in the irony of the situation. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Carl was not made aware that winter would come early this year. The North made clear who was the boss up there. Snow, which didn't care much about the date when it felt like dumping its first load of the year. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses. 
But the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. 